Hi, my name is Brad, welcome to the channel. So today I wanna to update you with my acute myeloid leukemia journey. So just to refresh you, if you're new to the channel here, so November 3rd, I got the official diagnosis of AML, which is acute myeloid leukemia. So basically it's a cancer of the bone marrow and of the blood. So the bone marrow is making abnormal blood cells. So um, I was hospitalized, got chemotherapy. I've been in and out of the hospital since November, basically. And the idea with the chemotherapy is to put you into remission, okay? So the doctors tell me if I don't continue with chemotherapy until I get the transplant, and by the way, the transplant is scheduled for April 17th, that eventually I will go back out of remission and get the disease again. So, and this is a faith-based channel, so... Um, if you've been you know, following along, you know that I'm believing that, although they're giving me certain percentages and odds, I'm believing that the percentage is 100% because I'm believing God that by his stripes I was healed. Uh, AML is a cancer that 4.3 people out of 10,000 people will get, so it affects about 1% of the population. So it's one of the rarer cancers. It's one of the more deadly cancers, on the other hand. So again, we're believing God for a healing. Yesterday, Michelle and I went together. We went to the UW hospital to see a radiologist doctor. And so our transplant, which is a um, stem cell transplant, is scheduled for April 17th. The day before the transplant, I'm going to have radiation, full body radiation in the morning, and then again late afternoon. And so they wanted to kind of prepare us for it, explain what's going to happen. And uh, I'm just updating you what's, what's going on. So um, they're going to basically sit me in this crouching position looking at where they're going to beam the radiation at me and get my full body for 20 minutes. Then they're going to turn me around and get the backside of my body for 20 more minutes. And they're going to do that twice that day. So they're going to do that to try to kill anything in my body, any cancer. And they're also, uh, were telling me that, um, see, the stem cells have to graft to my body. You know, that's the other part that has to work. And um, there's a better chance of those grafting by getting the full body radiation. You know, and they went over the side effects, you know, you can get a sunburn, you can get burning in your mouth, throat, your GI symptom can get disturbed, you know, diarrhea, you know, nausea, vomiting. And by the way, another, it's rare, but you can get other cancers from the radiation and from the chemo that I've been getting. Um, so they braced me for that. Last week I saw a psychologist and so they want to kind of check on your psyche, see how you're doing. And like she told me, she said, there's no right or wrong answers. Um, although I must have done okay, <laughs> because she says, well, I don't think you need another appointment, but if you need another appointment, you know, just reach out and, and, and that. So I think they wanted to make sure that I had a support system. You know, they're always asking you on a scale of one to 10, what is your fear level, your anxiety level? And, um, you know, I run about a two. You know, Michelle thinks I, I, you know, how I deal with this is I try to put things out of my, I try not to think about it too much. But, uh, you know, if we get the discussion, discussion going, well, how, you know, if you, if, you, if you die or when you die, because we're all going to die at some point, um, you know, how, what do you want done at your funeral? Well, then it shoots up to about a five, <laughs> you know, and then it goes back down. So that's, you know, we talked about that too at the, um, whoops, excuse me. Uh, at the psychologist too about you know coping mechanisms she said that how i'm dealing with it is actually very common so um which made me feel good um so that's been going on i've got a couple of new symptoms you know i you know my cholesterol is high my blood sugars are running higher and they said that can be just everything going on you know i've been had so much high dose prednisone when i would get my chemo you know and i've had a lot of chemo um, so basically they're going to wait till after the transplant and I start to get healthier and stronger and then they're going to see and look to see what is my cholesterol, what are my blood sugars, and then start to deal with it at that point. Because right now the big main point is for me to just, you know, put on weight, try to get stronger and like they term it, have reserves for when I go into this because it may be that it's hard for me to eat. And so I was weighed, I was almost 183 pounds. And remember back on November 3rd when I was diagnosed with this, because I was sick for like two, two and a half weeks in October, so sick before I even went to the doctor. 
my weight got down to 152 or 153, 154. So you're looking at like a 64, 70, 64, 70, like almost a 30 pound gain from uh, early November, middle of November. So, you know, I got a tummy and I got a little bit of bloat. But um, yeah, so maybe TMI, but just to update you how I'm doing. And now we're just kind of in that patient waiting mode, you know, till I get the transplant. We're between Madison and McFarland. We're on the boardwalk here along Lake Wabisa. There's an eagle. I didn't even know they were in this area. That's cool. This is the boardwalk. Something just fell down where he's eating. <laughs>